Gary Madsen, UTV Service. Today, I'm gonna to go over and go through, we're gonna check valve clearances on this. This is a 2017 Polaris XPT Turbo, and so I'm gonna kinda of go through the process of, we gotta pull the valve cover off and get the cams lined up right so we can check valve clearances. This is something that, if it's, a, if it's gonna need done, it's gonna be adjusting the valve, we'll go through that. But anyway, when you have an older service repair manual, some of them don't don't show all the extra shields all been put on there from recalls. So they have a couple of shields here to get the valve cover off that need to come off. I've tried to do it without taking them off, and you have to bend them up so bad that I just prefer to take all the, the shields, the protective shields off. There's one here and one up there. It takes a little time. I'm gonna do that right now. And so this is the valve cover off, along with we're gonna check valve clearance on 2017 XPT Turbo. All right, just kind of showing you how I've taken the, the one heat shield right there comes off easily. And then that other one, you get the bolts out and then you have two clips underneath here, plastic clips. All you can kind of do is get that all backed off. I could take the shock off and get it out all the way, but I don't need to. I've, I've exposed the valve cover the way I want it. So, just kind of showing you what, getting down to the valve cover, open enough that, now my next step is I'm gonna use compressed air, and I'm gonna clean up all around there, all around the spark plugs, around the valve cover, so when I pull that off, I don't have anything going down into the motor. So that's my next step. Okay, here we are with the valve cover removed. On this turbo, you just have to, you, you kind of have to bring it back a little bit and then up and out. It's close, but it, it fits no problem. So now the next step is I'll be setting, I'll be getting my paper and pad out and I'm gonna measure with the lobes up, so I'm gonna to have to make sure where the lobes are to, to make sure that's when I check underneath for the valve clearance. And in order to get all the lobes up, I'll just have to rotate it a little at a time. And here's the way you rotate it. Take the clutch cover off, rotate it from the front bolt of the clutch or the clutch itself and make sure that you go the proper way when you're spinning it, because you don't want to spin this motor backwards. It'll jump those teeth on that timing chain, and then you got no question you'll have to pull it all apart. So that's our next step. We're going to start measuring my valve clearances and find out where they are to determine if it's something that I'm going to have to pull the camshafts out and get new pucks and adjust accordingly. All right, here's... After rotating it, going over all the valve spec, which it's, it's pretty easy to do, just rotate it a couple of times and get the cam lobes straight up, then check your two valves that are underneath each one of those and set it. And here's, here's my results on my Polaris. 2017 Polaris XPT Turbo. The exhaust valve clearance spec is .008, plus or minus two thousandths. The intake valve clearance spec is 0 .006, plus or minus two thousandths. As you can see, my exhaust has not moved one little bit. They are perfectly in spec. The intake has a little bit off, but it's actually in spec with the clearance of Polaris. We have 0 .005, 0 .005, 0 .005, and 0 .004. Got it right at the edge of that one that's, but it's in their spec, so I'm gonna leave it. And here's what you'll find is, is if you've let dirt get into the intake with poor filter maintenance or whatever, that will start wearing out the valve guides and the, and the valves will start sinking and you got, that's when you start having clearance problems. I've seen it so bad a couple of times where your Polaris actually won't start. And then you kind of have to start guessing on how many cup sizes you have to go. Um, so that it starts getting pricey. That's where that baby starts paying for itself. 
S and B particle separator and lots of maintenance. I do my oil changes way more often than Polaris talks about, but with this vehicle that's got over 2,500 miles on it, I've never adjusted the valves, and now that I've checked it, I don't need to adjust it. In conclusion with the valve check adjustment on this 2017 Turbo XPT, as you can see, keeping a nice clean air filter system, S&B particle separator even making it that much better. After 2,500 miles, I don't even have to go in and adjust the valves. They're within spec. If you have hard starting, misfire codes, not running as good as you think it should, you should start with engine compression and a valve check on your valves. Uh, the misfire codes that people are finding out, the belt is, can be a misfire codes, but it also, once you've drove these things and you know that your belt's in good shape and you're not letting it get to a point to where it's jumping so bad on you and it's still putting out the engine misfire codes, check your valve adjustment, check your engine compression, because more than likely that's what it is. The computer's going to see a misfire way before you'll ever know it or feel it, so always go into that. And I appreciate you guys watching the video, and if you want any more information, give me a call at 801-410-0599. Go to my website, www.utvservice.com. I do a lot of blogging on these, so you can get an idea of what I feel is, is best for your machine, and, and it gives you some more information. Hopefully, you'll get something out of it. I appreciate you watching the video. Thank you.